Hi everyone! Welcome back to my mukbang. Today I'm back with some tteokbokki recipe. Well, this is kind of like not the most authentic or original. Well, it's, I guess it's pretty original because like I am just doing whatever I want. But it's not the most authentic way to make tteokbokki. I'm just going to mix everything that I have at home and call it a tteokbokki. Um, only thing that I did make from scratch is this kimari. Have you seen a kimari before? Like, I mean, it's not... Okay, I saw some tutorials and it didn't turn out exactly the way I thought it would. It looks like shit, actually, but it tastes really good. Um, adding kimchi definitely um, made it to the next level. It tastes really, really good. Um, but the look-wise, I know I had to work on it. It was my first time making it, so forgive me, but it'll taste amazing. And I have some dumplings, fried dumplings, and on the side... Um, I, sh I have more, you know, spice stuff like shrimp tempura. Along with like the pepper paste and the corn syrup, I'm going to add bulldog bokkumyeon tang because I just have one laying around and I was gonna add some noodles. So instead of adding just the noodles, I'm going to add the sauce as well. So let's start off with some sauce. Well, like two different chopsticks oh well it's okay okay let's start off with that and then i'm gonna add these as well and then we're going to add some corn syrup okay and then let's add some pepper paste Mmm, wow, this is surprisingly very, very good. I don't think I need to add any more like pepper paste or anything, but I am going to add a little bit more sugar, just like a little bit more corn syrup. You could add sugar if you want. And then let's add some black pepper. Okay. I like my very peppery. Okay, so maybe, you know what, I actually kind of want to add some curry. What do you think? I'm gonna add some curry. Okay, so I have some curry powder. I'm going to add a little bit of that. Mmm, okay. I think that's good. Okay. Yes. It's perfect. Okay, I want to lower the heat so it's not boiling. Like, I want it to be simmering. So I am going to add the noodles. Um, and then I'm actually going to add the boiled eggs right now. Okay. Maybe I'll let the noodles cook a little bit. And then I'll add the... So the rice cake that I'm using today is this one. Nothing too special. No, just sal tteokbokki rice cakes for tteokbokki. So, I am going to add some cheese. I need some American cheese. 
God, I'm so hungry. <laughs> so hungry. Put in there. And then I have some string cheese. I was gonna, I mean, if you have mozzarella, use mozzarella, but like the shredded ones or even the sheet, the, the sliced ones, but this is all I have. So I'm going to just add my mozzarella cheese like that. Tteokbokki. Hmm. Oh, I think they're like pretty much done. Yeah, they don't take that long to cook anyways. Mmm, I lower the heat. And then my eggs are here. As you can see, my eggs are here. And I'm going to kind of decorate this like very pretty. Pretty pretty. So my that. And then my. Should I put these guys? This. I'll just put more. Let's go crazy. A little crazy and then some mandu i had this like image in my head how i want this to look like it's kind of like not looking like that but and i probably can't even finish half of this i'm just very greedy because i am just so hungry right now so forgive me Wow, that is good takuki. My god. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm actually going to turn this off so I don't burn myself, but let's try the. Oh, okay. There's some cheese on it. Look at this beautiful cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Some tteokbokki. The tteokbokki is a little overcooked, but it is okay. I mean, look at this. Super. It's pretty giveable. <clears throat> like these other stuff. Oh my god. I love like, fried things with tteokbokki sauce. Is, I think like the one of the best combinations. And again, I say that about everything. Oh my God, the cheese is. Is everything. My God, so good.
I think it's hard to eat because my chopsticks like two different sizes. Some soup on my egg.
Mm. The cheese is just so good on its own with the sauce. I guess Tong and I have been very busy, like more than we thought we were, because September is the month of our anniversary, and another anniversary of my YouTube career. So this year I hit <clears throat> fourth year? <gasps> no, is it third year or fourth year? I think this was Tony and I, our fifth year of anniversary and f my fourth year on YouTube, or third year on YouTube, I don't remember, third year on YouTube. Mm. And I think Tony and my fourth year or fifth year, I don't remember. Oh yeah, we missed both of them. So funny, last year we missed Ahmed's birthday, but we remember everything else. But this year, we remembered Ahmed's birthday, but we forgot everything else. So. Hooray! My god, I'm so stuffed. I, I don't even know if I can... Oh. But I want the cheese. Oh, it was a very hot, spicy, filling meal. I'm just gonna like sit here and just... Uh, I'm gonna walk like 20 miles today. I'm like getting food coma. You know, I've been going to bed at like... 6 p.m. Like, not fall asleep, but I should be in bed by 6 p.m. If I can sleep at 6 p.m., that will be great. But I go to bed at 6 p.m., just in bed, trying to fall asleep. And by, like, 8, I'm, like, already half asleep, right? And I wake up at 5 in the morning and so productive. I love it. Like, I heard, like, some people really thrive on waking up really early because it feels like you're alone in the world. That's quiet, nobody's out, and nobody's walking nobody's walking their dog, nobody is, you know, starting their car. Like four or five in the morning, it's great. So I've been waking up pretty early, just enjoying a cup of coffee or tea and just being really productive, you know, finishing up my wedding planning, editing videos and just doing like you know, just trying to be very organized and like very productive. Um and it's been that schedule of mine it, well, it's been going on ever since I came back from Paris. Oh my god, there's a bug there. I just wanna... That's bugging me. Okay, I wanna kill it after. Um, or set it free. But it's gonna die anyways, because it's really cold outside. It's snowing. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, ever since I came back from Paris, that's been my plan. That's not... Ugh, I don't know, I can't even That's been my schedule. Sleep early, wake up early. And in order... 
me doing that has been helping me a lot with my eating habits. I mean, of course, mukbang is a different story. Mukbang is like my ultimate cheat day. But, um, you know, when I'm not filming, I am eating like really, try to do like low cal, not, you know, I try to do like intermittent fasting um, during my non mukbang filming days. And um, it's been great. I mean, I even. You know, like intermittent fasting is like you could eat whatever you want. It's just when you eat kind of thing. But if you still eat healthy and like, you know, like not something healthy and something like low calorie and weight loss friendly food, it's going to do the double the job, right? So that's what I've been doing. And I've been feeling great every morning. I feel great every night when I go to bed. I feel great um, because before Paris, I did my intermittent fasting started like at night. So like my eating windows were towards the night. So when I'm sleeping, I feel full and like I'm not hungry. But um, so there were many nights where I fell asleep really full, actually. I didn't really like that. It was okay, but I still felt, felt very energized and I could go all day without eating because I eat so late and sleep, you know. But now it's more towards the morning, like lunchtime I eat. And then towards, you know, before, like, and then I have like a couple of hours before I um to digest before I should go to bed unlike you know, before so it's been feeling better I love it I love eating during like lunchtime and like that's like the only meal I eat and it lasts all day like I mean like by like last night I went to bed at six but there were a lot of shit going on so I was on the phone and texting so I was up until like 10 o'clock 10 11 o'clock so by then I should be sleeping so I was very hungry in bed but you know i thought about my wedding dress my wedding day so i'm like i'm not gonna eat anything so i survived that night but usually when i'm when i go to bed at six you know i don't even feel hungry because you know i ate not too long ago so you know it's just like it it's working for me and i know that intermittent fasting is not for everybody because it can be and you can't like you have to get very used to it you know you can just like Oh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start tomorrow. I'm gonna f- be really strict. It doesn't like really work work like that. Uh, if you gradually get it yourself, research and get yourself into intermittent fasting. There are so many different kinds, and whatever works for you, you know, there are many. Like you, a good a good thing about intermittent fasting is that you could be very very flexible in a sense. There's so many varieties to fit like different kind of people, and the one that I'm doing right now fits perfectly. For me, and um, I feel energized. I feel like I have all the time in the world. <laughs> yeah, I have been sleep. That's I don't know. I don't know why this topic came up, but I'm just saying that I've been just sleeping early, going bed early. And okay, the reason why I'm doing that is because if I stay late, if I like, so it's easier for me to not in the morning than at night. Like, if I'm hungry in the morning, I could resist. It's fine. But when I'm hungry at night, oh my gosh, I have to eat something. And I, I crave, like, spicy and instant food. And that's really, you know, like, all that work for, you know, I don't know. So I like sleeping early. It helps me. It's easier for me to fast. Um, yeah. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, my wedding is coming up. Not as soon as you think. It's not like next month or anything, but it is coming up. So, and as of right now, like my weight loss journey, my body, whatever, it's kind of on schedule. Um, I mean, at least I lost everything that I gained from Paris. I, I, I mean, like not everything, like almost all of it, because I think it was, those are the just weight that like, I could have just lost very easily at, with like, meal like controlled meal and i guess so uh, i was actually really surprised how fast i lost it <laughs> but anyways i'm like back to my original weight which wasn't a lot you know it was like five five pounds um yeah and i know i'm like rambling a lot but i'm just trying to digest this because i'm so full oh my god i gotta go out for a walk i'm gonna take Anna to the park because it's snowing what I, I used to go out in the weekend you know, to see my friends, and, like, I would eat, like, two meals, and it's the weekend, you know, I can eat whatever I want. I can't afford that anymore. <laughs> um, so my plan right now, I mean, and the holidays are coming up, so I'm kind of screwed in a, in a sense, but, I, you know, like, 
I have to make exceptions this exceptions this year. Like I am going to limit my holiday eating days. Um, uh, like for next week it's Thanksgiving, and I am not I'm not planning to celebrate too much Thanksgiving or this year, and even Christmas and New Year's and. You know, like if it was like a regular year, I'll be like, "Oh my god, this whole week is Christmas. We're gonna eat every day, kind of thing." But I can't do that this year. I mean, it's kind of like sad because I love being festive and celebrating with all like all my friends, all my family, and all that. But um, no, but it's like sad at the same time. Like, I'm still very excited um, that my wedding is coming up, and I get to you know pamper myself and. Uh, I'd rather, you know, I think it'll be worth it'll be worth it. Um, you know, like if I am where I am by my wedding time, right? So I know a lot of you guys don't like this wedding talk, but I just want to talk about it <clears throat> because it's coming up so close, and there are the stress is real, guys. <laughs> and it's not even just like initially it was like like a little stress about money, but now it's more of like other things. So. Stress is real, so props to everybody who had successful and beautiful wedding. Like seriously. Okay, I'm going to end the video here today. I hope you guys enjoyed everything, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay.